I've been living in the UK for about 10 years. I lived in London first, and, and that, any people in from London? Oh, London, oh, London. You know, as Aussies, we've mangled English, but you guys have done what you like to it. <laughs> My mate, Jeff, said a whole, London Jeff, you know, he said a whole sentence to me that meant nothing. It blew my mind, mate. He's like, look, mate, I'm not being funny or nothing. Well, I'm not being funny or nothing, but at the end of the day, to be honest, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. And I waited to the end of the day to tell him and everything, right? You know, because it wasn't funny. I, I had to be honest. I said to him, I don't, I don't know what you mean. You know, he then said, he got, oh, leave it out. <laughs> leave what out, mate? What is there to leave out? I tell you what we have left out. It's called context. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> and he disappeared up a chimney. So from Adelaide, moved to Birmingham. I lived in Birmingham for a long time. It's how they talk in Birmingham. <laughs> Do you know what my neighbour said to me before I left? Because I bloody died. I have no idea. I no idea. Was, I think it was a noise, you know? That's the best I could give you, is a noise. And I was the only person on the street, so I had to participate. I'm like, oh, this one's for me. Right. Here's the noise, see if you can decode it. And I tried my best. He's looked at me, he's gone, you do it. <laughs> now, I'm a fan of Thomas the Tank Engine. I am. I've got all these cassettes, mate, but I had no idea what that noise I didn't know if it was a warning. I didn't know if it was a greeting. There were no other trains. Then, to his credit, he slowed it right down. <laughs> Whales were beating themselves. It was a disaster. But that's, 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 the, that's the greeting. It's the British greeting. Are you all right? Are you all right? First thing you say to someone when you see him in the UK, are you all right? In Australia, it's egg out, because there's a few different things. Yeah, pretty good, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. Ah, uh, she knows. Well. You know, whatever you know to answer, you know. But in the UK, people are so used to things being shit that the first thing someone says to someone else when they see him is, are you all right? <laughs> because this, this is pretty horrible, I think. It is. And I'm not okay with it. I just want to know, are you all right? So I'm, not, I'm not all right with it. So I lived in Birmingham for about five years uh, with my wife, Beth. <laughs> I know her name. I just don't use it often enough. You know, it's, it's there. There's no neural pathway to pluck it out of thin air. I call her wife. You know, you know, she's so much more. She's my best friend. But you know, I call her. My wife, every morning. G'day, wife. <laughs> How you going? Me again. Usual stuff. <laughs> she calls me <laughs> head. And uh, that's all right. It's just, there's some love in the tone. Oh, sorry, there's a <laughs> bit, of, bit of a man emote there, mate. Uh, bit of a micro cry. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to fully give it. No one wants to see a bloke give it that one, do they? Uh, we all have emotions. You've got to be real with yourself, fellas. But no one wants to see a bloke break down on public track. <laughs> That's why I schedule in about 50 or 60 little micro cries per day. You know, just little ones, mate. Like, like little ones. You know what I mean? Smuggle it into a stretch. You know, just yeah, keep on top of things. 